Um, so I, I don't know how many of you have seen talks by Brian Cantrell. Uh, if you haven't, I highly recommend, very entertaining. So the other day I was watching one about uh, FreeBSD jails and salary zones. And, you know, you get a whole new perspective on incarceration. But the thing that stood out to me is uh, when he was talking about the state of salaries in the late 80s, and it was apparently in a mess, so they spent many years cleaning it up. And then finally they had this nice operating system. But they realized that in the past 10 years there was no operating system innovation. There was nothing interesting happening. So they, then they went ahead and started working on D-Trace and ZFS and salary zones. And it struck to me that we are in, this, in the same situation. We have this nice new clean language, but we're still stuck with C++ 98 era built systems. And the problem when you, with being stuck with something primitive is that you cannot even imagine that there can be a radically different way to do things. So a good example is CVS and Git, right? When I was using CVS, I don't know how many of you had the pleasure, uh, I never even thought that about something like Git Rebase. So I'm working on Build2, which is the new build system for C++, build toolchain. Um, and what we decided to do, we decided to just throw away all that baggage and start from scratch in, C, in modern C++. And once you get the basics right, all of a sudden all this, you, you don't even need to, to look for innovation. You know, it just stares at you, just jumps at you. So I only have time to show you one, hopefully. Michael won't cut me off. Um, so one thing that we really took, uh, took a great care of in build two is cross compilation. So now it's actually a pleasure to use. And once you get that, it's like Git rebase. You know, you want to rebase, I mean, cross compile everything. And why is that? Well, because it's more convenient, right? You can do it from the comfort of your development environment, you know, from your Macs or Beam, whatever you want. Uh, so when you work on an open source cross compiler project, you, would, you really only need to worry about three compilers these days, right? Clang, GCC, and Visual Studio. Clang, GCC are easy, available everywhere. Visual Studio is a bit of a pain. So apparently these days you can even use Visual Studio to build Linux binaries. I'm not exactly sure how it works or why someone would want to do that. But what I want to do is to cross compile with Visual Studio from Linux to Windows. So I don't need, want need to leave my you know, preferred development environment. And, well, you wouldn't really think about running a Visual Studio ID, right, in, on Linux. I, I think everyone realizes it's probably never going to happen. Uh, but running the toolchain, the compiler itself, is actually possible. So I have a couple of versions here. Now, th this messes up with your head a little bit. At C++ now, someone asked me, hey, are you running Ubuntu user land on Windows? I'm like, no, I'm running Ubuntu user land on Ubuntu. So this is actually a Linux machine that is running a, a little wrapper that we, want, that we wrote, and it's actually fairly simple, just translate some parts uh, using Wine. So uh, it, you can see it's Visual Studio 14 compiler here. So I want to show you a concrete example how it's helpful. So I have a, a build utility library that we use in our build system, and I have a couple of configurations for testing going. And you can see the last one is Visual Studio. So what I did, uh, I broke it a little bit, but I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna introduce a syntax error. So remember, this is all running on, on Linux. And I'm gonna compile this configuration. So those of you familiar with Visual Studio errors will immediately recognize it, right? This C2144 kind of is a giveaway. The cool thing is uh, Emacs actually recognizes this error format. So we didn't have to do anything. So I can say, go to the next error and it just jumps to the right line for me. So this was a very speculative project. We kind of thought, hey, can we make it work? If we can, if we can just compile, it will be already a huge win. Uh, and once you get that, the next thing you think, hey, can I run tests? And it turns out you can actually run a lot of tests. We, we can run all our build system tests on the wine on Linux. So I also broke a test. So I'm gonna run that. So I, I messed up an assertion uh, test in, in a, in a in my test for this SHA-256. So this is an assertion failed equivalent for wine. While the output is not as nice, you still get all the information. So you get the line and source file. And everything. That's it, thank you very much.